Okay, so I mentioned I've got my extruder mounted back here. Uh, that's going to be a Greg's geared Wade's extruder. I, it's hard to keep them straight, but basically one of the geared extruders. So um, it comes up through a Bowden tube, this PTFE. It works just like a bicycle uh, brake, only it's pushing this little white filament out through the end of this hole. So uh, what I've done is I went ahead and flush trimmed that with just a pair of uh, scissors here. So cut it flat it's pushed all the way through and if you go back over to repeater host I can do an M17 send that and that should enable my motors now I do need this uh, extruder temperature hot otherwise if you're just doing this on the desk you will need to find the uh, Mac or the prevent unsafe extrude so there's a temperature it's got to be over or else it's not going to try to push or else it'll strip out the uh, the actual filament and it just causes you problems so there's it's sort of like a safety feature to make sure that you're up to temp so uh, mine set at 170 so I got this guy just at 180 even though it's all disconnected so I'm just pushing that right here it doesn't bug me to have that on so it's easier than changing the software again so uh, what I'm looking for here is the default axis steps per unit and what I've done here actually I'll go ahead and put this back how it was kind of got the answer showing already so I'll save that, disconnect here, disable the heaters, try to do this quickly so I don't let it cool down too much. So I've saved that back into my file, I'm compiling, uploading to the firmware, or to the chip, uploading the firmware to the chip, and it's still chugging away here. And this, this number is just a guess. It came from uh, just somebody else's number online that had a similar extruder. So um, it doesn't really matter what it is to begin with. If you have bad results, you'll know. Just double it or have it or something uh, until you get a pretty good amount of filament uh, extruded out. So we're done uploading. I'm going to come back over to repeater. Connect up. I'm on. Let's do an M17 again. Gets my uh, extruder good. And... Go ahead and turn this back on. So we'll have to wait just a second, but uh, while it's heating up, I'll explain what's going on. Basically, you'll want to extrude a certain amount, we'll call it 10 millimeters, and we'll measure what comes out. And if we get 10 millimeters out exactly, we're perfect. We won't, though. Um, it's very unlikely you would on the first try. The hobbed bolts can have some tolerance to them, uh, the gears, and so on. So. Uh, I've got this guy on 16th micro stepping as well, so that's something else you'll need to take into account when you decide what, what steps per millimeter you want to use. So now that I'm over 170, I'm going to try to extrude here. So hopefully you can see that extruding, and I will come in and measure it. Zero my calipers out, watch the hot end there, and go about to the middle of my slant here, but ideally that would be flush. And so I get about 8.28. So what I was expecting to see there is 10, but that's fine. So I will open up a calculator, and I will take my 8.28. 28, divide that by 10, so that gives me my scaling factor, or rather, sorry, that was 10 over 8.28, that gives me my scaling factor, and then I multiply it by what I found in the firm, or what I had set in the firmware, so I'll copy that, paste it in here, and I did that wrong, 515 point, uh, you know, 10 over 8.28 times paste, enter, there we go, 623, so I'll grab that value, paste it in, ditch all these long values here that are useless, more or less, save it, go offline, go offline, tab over, and upload. So you have to go offline so that it can grab the serial port back here to uh, send the firmware to it. So. Meanwhile, I'll head back over to here. I'll flush trim this guy again. You could just as easily pull it back in the amount, but um, 
it's not very much to waste really so we are still uploading done uploading we'll connect once again we've reset the firmware so we'll do an M17 that should enable the motors turn the heater back on should have done that first Okay, we're back over 170, and I will extrude another 10 millimeters. Okay, zero my calipers back out, and I've got about 10.63. So my measurement one of these two times was probably a little bit off but um, it's definitely closer to uh, to 10 so we can do that one more time and we should get the right value All right, I'm at 180 degrees Celsius. Uh, it should be a pretty good temp to try to extrude some. I'm trying to think of a good reason not to, but nothing's come up yet. So I should be nearing the end of the hot end uh, with the end of this filament. So it should be coming out here any minute. Oh, there it goes. How cute. So that's the next one to figure out. It looks like I've got a jam or something's going on. I have the filament just sitting in a, in a box back there, so I might have pulled a little too hard on it. So I'll start taking a look and see what's going on, but that's about it for getting the uh, extruder set up and the hot end hot and tuned in. And uh, that should do it. I'll see you next time. Subscribe if you like these videos, and uh, if you like them, click like. If you have feedback, let me know.